Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Welcome back to another episode of Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Okay, so today, um, June uh, 17th, um, VMware by Broadcom released VCF uh, 9.0. Uh, this is the second video um, in this series. In the first video, if you missed it, we installed um, the VMware vSphere hypervisor ESXi 9 on our bare metal server on our AS Rock rack. And straight off the back of that, we're going to go straight in and uh, we're now going to install VMware vCenter server 9.0. Now, let's talk about FQDNs again. Uh, my pet hate, my pet subject. Um, so, We've already created um, FQDNs uh, for our ESXi host, ESXi004, which is our ESXi90 host that we created in the last video. And we've now also created an FQDN for vCenter9 as well. So they're all done. Um, so hopefully that shouldn't trip us up in this installation. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, we've already mounted the 9.0 ISO. I'm going to click the VCSA-UI installer. I'm going to select Win32, and I'm going to double-click uh, installer.exe. And I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, rather than this running in fabulous 4K, uh, what we will do, uh, we will expand um, the installer window. Uh, so it's a little bit easier for you to see. So just one moment while I to do that. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Um, it's a bit weird because I've sort of kind of stretched it to screen, so it looks a bit odd. Uh, but you get the general gist. Okay, um, different colours. Um, okay, so we're going to do an install. We're not doing an upgrade. We're not doing a restore. Um, so I'm just going to click install. Uh, external platform service controller deployment has been uh, depreciated, um, deploy vCenter service. So I'm going to follow by next. You're going to accept the license agreement, followed by next. Uh, okay, so our ESXi is this. Uh, and our root and password is this. Um, followed by next. Uh, yeah, I'm going to accept that thumbprint. Uh, that's actually the self-signed certificate that Broadcom, uh, VMware by Broadcom uses. And that's validating. So I'm going to call it vCenter Server uh, 9.0. I'm going to set the root password. This doesn't at the moment look really any different to what I've seen before. Followed by next. Now this is actually in, going to be installed on NVMe. Um, so tiny default uh two vcpus 14 gig of memory okay that's not changed i thought maybe that they might have actually increased the memory slightly here to 16 uh, but no that's looking the same data store one um yep um yep that's all right i'm just going to click next uh okay insufficient disk space uh requires 619 gig okay let's just override that let's just see if we can go thin and click next we can um okay fqdn it says is optional but we're just going to go with vcenter 9. Dot. ip address I think it was 120, but um, uh, 120, yeah, 120 that I've set. So that's 245, 245, 245, zero. Default gateway. DNS servers. Eighty uh, eighty. Allocation scheme optional. This is a bit different. Allocation scheme optional. MAC address prefix. Prefix length. We'll leave them blank. Um, tiny default thin. Looks okay. I'm going to go finish. 
and it's going to go and start a deployment. And you know what I'm going to say next? I'll speed this up in post and I'll come back. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a similar sort of thing to what we've actually basically seen before that it's going to deploy the OVA. Um, if we just turn off that, um, and if we go back to our server and we have a little look at virtual machines, uh, then we can actually basically see there already that we've got a VMware vCenter server 9 um, that's been installed. So it's just basically deploying uh, the OVA um, or the vApp at the moment. That's all really that's happening. We've seen this before. Icons changed as well, I think. It's a bit, a bit, bit bluer, I think. Um, yeah, okay. So we'll speed all that up in post. Uh, if I just flick that uh, back on there, so we'll speed all that up in post um, and um, um, we'll come back um, when um, when it's done. Um, so with that, just let me disappear. I'm back because while that's been going on, <laughs> uh, I've been working away on other um vmware cloud foundation stuff in other windows now it's all going on here right okay so um not really much has changed there really to be honest with you. um you have successfully deployed uh, the the vcenter server uh to proceed with stage two of the pump process click continue so let's just click continue uh okay so set up uh vcenter server uh, time synchronization will synchronize with some NTP servers that we have here in the lab. 52, 2.5, 54. Uh, yeah, we'll turn SSH on, but this is home lab, lab. Um, it's not production. I wouldn't really recommend turning on SSH on anymore um, in production, really, to be honest with you. Um, and if you are, you know, then make sure that your management interfaces are on a secure LAN, VLAN, etc. for management access only, or you're using some form of privileged access management uh, to access those um, SSH interfaces. There are lots of bad actors out there at the moment now. Um, so we need to be a little bit cautious um, of the old SSH thing. Uh, only turn it on if you need it, etc., etc um management vlans um okay so um we're just going to stick with the um the bog standard visa at local um i'm gonna pop in a password there and remember it and uh, i'm gonna click next uh yeah oh join the broadcom customer experience improvement program so first um on if you're in the vast in the last video, if you looked at the ASXI one, uh, that was still uh, join the the VMware. And I made a comment that um, some of those bits and pieces still haven't been changed. Um, VMware Broadcom. OK, static IP address. Uh, da, 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 that looks all right. I'm going to click finish. OK, we can't stop. Uh, we can just move forward. And again, um, you know, this is going to be another. Um, you know where I'm going. Um, I'll speed this up in post and I'll come back at the very end and we will log in to a working uh, VMware vCenter server. Um, although it just says vCenter server now and uh, not quite sure if you can see that, but I've got a, I've got a moth uh, flying around. Um, anyway, so uh, we'll speed this up in uh, post and, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll come back at the end. I'm back and it looks like we're done. OK, um, just need to have a little look at what we've actually got going on in the background here, because um, we've been doing other things with VMware Cloud Foundation installer. Um, OK, so um, hopefully if I just click that link. Um, We'll leave these till next time. But anyway, in this video, we're looking at vCenter Server 9.
Um, okay, VMware by Broadcom, the first bit of branding that we're seeing here. Um, so, launch vSphere client. Now, all the services should be started. Of course, you can't see that, can you? Hang on, just there we go. Um, so, this is all looking different. Um, lovely. Uh, VMware by Broadcom. Um, just going back to if I just delete that there and I can show you again. Um, first bit of branding VMware by Broadcom. Um, and uh, as I was just sort of kind of mentioning that I've been doing stuff in the background here with VCF SDDC manager, VCF installer, but that's another day and another video. Uh, anyway, so launch vSphere client. Um, and uh, this is all different. This is all changed. Uh, branding here again, VMware by Broadcom. Uh, that's all different graphic y thing. Um, of course, um, we've used administrator at vSphere local, so I should be able to do that. Uh, that doesn't look very good. I've seen this problem before, actually. Um, HTTP error 401. Um, whether or not that it's to do with Chrome, um, uh, or some of my, um, plugins, I must admit, to be honest, really, Chrome is, is giving me some, um, issues these days, really, to be honest. With you. Um, so there we go. Okay. Uh, CPU exhaustion on vCenter 9. Yeah, that's sort of kind of commonplace, really, to be honest with you. Um, of course, I haven't got any hosts added yet. Um, uh, view your licenses. Uh, we haven't got any licenses at the moment. You have expired or expiring nine plus licenses in your inventory. Uh, although this is interesting because vCenter is actually dropped into evaluation mode. Uh, so that's interesting. Um, foundation load balancers, client plugins. Um, so um, that's all I'm going to do um, in this video. Uh, we'll do a quick video on uh, adding our uh, nine host uh, tomorrow. It's getting a little bit late here and I've got to get all these edited. Um, OK, so there we go. Uh, how to install um, vCenter Server 9.0 um, on ESXi 9.0 um, on an AS Rock Rack um, server. Anyway, so um, again, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and a like. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and share. Um, I'll speed up all those uh, long installation pieces like I normally do uh, in post so you don't have to watch them. Um, thanks very much for watching another Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Uh, my name is Andrew Hancock and um, uh, good night and, uh, and be safe. Bye bye now.